So we are now moving on to the next question, which is to say in PCOS, we have understood that there is a male hormone imbalance. There is a female hormone imbalance, which is usually testosterone, DHT, DHEAS is what we usually look at, right? And pro, um, estrogen and progesterone. But I have seen in my practice a lot of times, prolactin gives me trouble. It's the prolactin which gives me those very inflammatory acne, prolactin which leads to hair fall and skin which looks red and angry. So can you please explain to me what happens in PCOS and how is the relationship with prolactin? Prolactin normally secreted by a girl when she is breastfeeding. It's a breast milk hormone. And you know, if the prolactin is high, it is equal to stress. So, as I said, the, our body stress hormone is prolactin. That's exactly now, why the skin feels stressed and angry. Correct. So, it's, a, it's nothing but a reflection of your hidden anger, hidden burden, hidden stress inside your neurochemistry of the brain. Because prolactin is made by the lactotrope of the pituitary gland. Lactation is lactotrope. So, basically prolactin is a lactation hormone when mother is giving breast milk and that if it is nor high during normal phase, it is a cause of concern and you need to de-stress. But there are simple things which increase prolactin. Hmm. For example, if you have a very tight undergarment, hmm. if you have intercourse on the previous night, that can increase. There are drugs, nausea drugs like Domperidone that can increase. Digene. Epilepsy or psychiatric drugs yeah. will increase prolactin. So if you are going to a shrink or if you are going to a, a specialist which is giving you some medication, they can also increase prolactin. Once that is ruled out, if the prolactin is persistently high, it only means that your pituitary gland is under stress, your mind is under stress, your hypothalamus is pumping out chemicals, which is the dopamine inhibiting hormone, which is stimulating the lactotrope to make the prolactin. Oh. And that prolactin then occasionally even can cause breast discharge. It's called as galactoria. Mm. And girls can get it. And then you can get a pituitary tumor in the brain. You need to do an MRI. Yeah. But that is the extreme. And that is very treatable, mind you. You don't need to do a surgery. All you need to do is just take some medicines for some period of time under medical supervision. But main thing is de-stress yourself. Okay, you can do simple asanas, yoga is great, meditation is great, you can do your, you know, whatever detoxification mechanisms or happiness mechanisms, they're equally important. So I think modern world, we have learned to generate unusual stress and we don't vocalize stress. Yeah. So prolactin is a hormone which actually is talking to the person whose level is increased, ki hey, you are abusing yourself. You are being burnt out. So sometimes I also call prolactin as a burnt out hormone. Mm -hmm. That means that person is completely burnt out. And you know, then when it is burnt out, that prolactin goes up. But remember, whenever the prolactin is high, if normal causes are ruled out, then sometimes you need to, if it is very, very high, to see a specialist, get your eye checked, get an MRI done and take treatment. It's a very treatable condition. Correct. Prolactin in men. Prolactin in men again can go up because of stress. You can get prolactinomas in men also, but that's rare and unusual. But we see it, it's not unusual. Stress can occur to anybody. See, remember, men and women have both men hormone and women hormone. So men also have estrogen, men also have prolactin. Similarly, women also have testosterone, women also have androgen. And, you know, when they are angry, you know, you can see manifestations of both. For example, when there is hirsutism, which is excessive facial hair, it, it's an indirect reflection of exaggerated dihydrotestosterone, the skin testosterone. Or if there is excessive hair fall or balding, that is also a manifestation of excessive male hormone on the skin. And the skin testosterone is called DHT, dihydrotestosterone. So I think men and women both have each other's hormones, but they are under control in normals, normalcy. But unfortunately, we are living in a uh, stress bomb and we are disordering the hormones very quick and fast. And most of it is correctable, if you ask me. 